Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is our first chapter. Actually, is on the, the meaning of research. Okay, to embark the the journey of doing research as a beginner, we need to know what's the meaning of the research. Right. So, in this chapter, will help you to understand on the research, define the purposes of research, identify the ethics ethics uh, in research, and distinguish the types of research. But the first three will be covered in this chapter. Okay, research. Research is actually what we do when we have a question or a problem that we want to solve. As researcher, academician or sports scientist, we are talking about things that we want to solve in our setting. For example, we are combating uh, the world's global issues, so obesity. How do we solve that problem? By that, we are doing research. Various researchers have been done uh, to, to cater this problem and other problems in sports setting, in recreation also, in sport management. Okay, When we have question, we are resolving it or we answer that question through uh, providing solution or um, exploring the problem so that we're able to, to, to give a solution uh, so that that, that, that uh, topic will not be uh, serious in the future. Okay? Right. So based on Sakaran 2006, it is the process of finding solution to a problem after a uh, thorough study and analysis in that we, we studied it uh, deeper and deeper instead of uh, highlighting the issue on the surface and then the, the, the vigorous analysis being conducted uh, involving the data analysis, involving the data interpretation. Okay, And then it is a systematic inquiry that provides information to guide decision. Okay. Before we uh, proposing a solution, a decision, uh, we need to, to have a very systematic way of uh, 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 um, identifying the problem and then what we can do to, to make it work. And then, yes, the decision will be um, uh, decided. Sorry, uh, the decision will be made after that uh, uh, systematic way of doing uh, analysis and researching. Okay. And... Uh, in other words, it is a problem-solving base, right? So these are the purposes of research. Five purposes to explain, to predict, to monitor, to discover, and for hypothesis testing. The first one is explanation. It is the most cited reason for conducting research. We have to explain why something is occurring, why football performance drop, why Malaysia champion in SEA Games, why we are uh, rising uh, the problems of mental health, a mental, mental health issue nowadays is like inclining issue. And obesity is the second. How about the, the, the heart, the heart problem, uh, cardiovascular disease. Okay, that's when we talk about uh, health, when we talk about sports performance, okay, uh, we, we are still looking for the gold medal in Olympics. So, by doing research, we are able, uh, the researcher are uh, trying to explain uh, why is that something is occurring, okay. So, the second purpose of research is to predict. Uh, it, is, it is used to, to predict what happened in the future. In the future, meaning that we predict in the in our setting, sports science setting, okay, because information is critical in making decision such as forecasting the demand for new sports product, maybe the demand of the new sports training method, equipment, uh, we talk about uh, the prediction, uh, what, let's for example, the product of shoes, uh, sports shoes should be uh, uh, manuf manufacture in certain material instead of the, the current material that we have to, so that the athletes will run faster, jump higher. And that's the prediction in the future. It is also to use to use to predict what may happen if something is changed, right? Such as the management of certain sports association. If like for example, we, we have uh, sports engineering in the association, maybe it helps uh, to, to, to build the, the sports training better, maybe, yeah, to predict, okay? What happened in future sports? What happened in health, right? So the second, this uh, second uh, purpose is to predict. The third one is to monitor. This is very important to for making decision in monitoring to ensure that goals are being attained. Okay, right? So where are we, for example? What's your, the goal of a sports organization? We want to achieve goal in Olympic. We want to to 
go beyond the uh, the Asia Cup, for example, uh, for the football. And then that's why we are doing Thailand talent identification. Fitness profile is regularly done, frequently done by the coaches to see where are we. Okay, right? WHO is doing monitoring every year. Okay, uh, in 2020, they came out with... Um, different statistics of uh, COVID-19, uh, that's the very current, and then SARS, AIDS, and then uh, the cardiovascular disease. That's why uh, we, we can uh, maintain that the first uh, disease that attacking the human being now uh, is the non-communicable disease, and then now it is communicable disease that we call COVID-19, right? So stay safe, right? And the fourth one is discovery. It is to discover, okay? To find out something new. And then it is uh, ways, looking for ways to improve effort for new opportunities, right? So that we can improve uh, um, things that uh, in the sports product to improve sports performance, new method, new product, new approaches, new response, okay? Right, so that... Uh, our our method is getting better and better. Our our performance is not as stagnant. Okay, to discover that's the purpose of research, of course. Then the fifth one is for hypothesis testing. This is to help uh, to test the theories by the scientists or gut feeling about some issue. Okay, hypothesis. The, the sound is like hypothetically that they they are uh, meramal. Okay, for example, there is relationship of injury and level of athletes. There is a difference between strength and edge group of weightlifters. So this is hypothesis. So if the research is being conducted, then we can have a, 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 a confirm that yes, there is relationship of injury and level of this. Meaning that the the higher the level of this, the higher the level of injury. Uh, that's the correlation. The second one is strength. The the stronger the athletes, the 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 older the the weightlifters. It makes sense in that way because the bone is stronger. They are more, uh, more resistant to to the heavy weight, heavy load, right? But hypothesis testing it relies on statistical analysis. I'm sure you you've been uh, doing a lot of analysis in a statistics class, okay? Right. In research, there are some ethics uh, consideration that we have to follow so that the research is safe and it is reliable uh, to be referred to uh, by the other researchers. Okay, so these are the steps to ensure research is ethical. This is very important even we are a beginner researcher. First, we have to have informed concern, meaning that have your participant had the nature of the research explained to them. They must know the objective of the research. They must know what's the purpose of that research. Everything is clear to them. Okay, informed consent. They are well informed. Second one is on anonymity, meaning that the, 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 the participant's name will not be revealed when you are writing uh, the report later on. The third one, checking whether you have permission to have a conversation with a tape recorder or taking pictures. Now that we are taking pictures during the data, data collection, okay? The permission must be obtained. Some of the particip participants, they don't want uh, their, their information to be revealed, their faces to be revealed, okay? Be careful on that. And the fourth one, always treating people respect, consideration, and concern. You don't simply ask them to jump or don't simply ask them to join your fitness test if it is experimental because uh, to, this is to ensure your research is following the ethical uh, 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 ethical consideration. Okay? Right? So these are the reasons to adhere to ethical norms in research. Five reasons. First one is for the aims of the study, value, accountable, public support, moral and social value. So the first one, promote the aims of research. What's the aim of research? Is to provide knowledge, uh, to tell the people the truth and to avoid error. Okay, if uh, the ethical is not uh, properly followed, then the aim of research is violated. Okay, you are uh, not uh, following the, the actual way of respecting the subject, respecting the participant, reveal the faces, okay, and you have that name published in the written, okay, that is not, it's very wrong, okay, right? 
and then uh, if it is um, misinterpret of data then the knowledge is not really true and then this is to um, to, to ensure that you promote truth and avoid error okay it is prohibition against fabricating falsifying and manipulating or research finding data is some things that we are really really uh, against we not Manipulating data, telling people the the opposite of the findings. Uh, sometimes uh, the researcher is too too scared or panic when they found out the the actual thing. But that's the research. Okay, you have to ensure what the first uh, reason is being followed. Uh, the promotes the aim of the research. Okay, this example of uh, too much. I think terlampau tinggi lah dia punya claim the claim is over claim eh? the ec pi okay you can search for it and the second one is controversial about the product it says that it can cure many many uh, apa ni, diseases it promotes various kind of health however I, i'm not sure whether they are doing research on this product but yeah that's not the promotes that, that's not the aims uh, uh, of the, the the product because they are over claim Okay, so the first one, I guess, not being followed, aims of the research. Okay, and the second one is to promote value. Value meaning that uh, this is very essential in the researcher uh, world, uh, scientist world. We want to, to have uh, collaborative work because we want our, our findings, our product, eh, with this creating product to be trusted. Then people can account to us and we have a respect to each other, to the other researcher, to the participant itself, even to, to the subjects that we are using and it, to provide fairness. Eh. Value is very important eh, in doing research. We cannot simply uh, neglect the values. Eh. And then when the findings comes on later on, the people can do, not are going to trust that product. Okay, right? This is an example. Uh, the copyright. Okay, you are stealing people's uh, uh, maybe barang, maybe, and then you're stealing people's method. Okay, uh, that's the value that being neglected. Uh, right? So that, therefore, in uh, research, we need to ensure that. We are we have that authorship, copyright, patenting policy, data sharing, okay, confidentiality, right? So to to protect uh, the person's interest and to collaborate collaboration uh, in doing research. Okay, and um, most researcher want to receive credit for their contribution uh, and don't want the ideas to have uh, to to be stolen or disclosed prematurely. So the value is very important. Uh, we want to uh, promote value, right? The third one is uh, to be accountable to the public. Okay, when we're doing research, most of it is to solve the problem to the population or to the community. So if we're not following the ethical uh, uh, pros procedure in uh, doing the research, how could the public to be trust to to to, to trust the product to trust the training methods that you have designed to trust the the the, the solution that you've provided? For example, when you talk about barang, kan, uh, it's always deal with the uh, sometimes they're doing human subject to to test the the. Uh, maybe a penny a sports supplement uh, for example okay the, the ethical is being followed then the public will uh, can assume or to put can consume or to buy the product uh, which are, so whey protein which into before they coming out with that product they have to have a various research saying that it is really useful or bring benefit uh, to the sports performance or to the muscle mass or muscles performance right so if, if you are following that, then the research is that product is accountable. Mm. And then uh, the fourth one to build public support. Okay, in doing research, uh, it was always uh, involving the the public to support for the research because people are more likely to fund research project if they can trust the quality. Uh, you talk about hundred plus. Uh, people are funding uh, athletes because they trust that product and the product can. Can give uh, to pun can can help assist in the performance. Contoh lagi satu Milo kan? Okay, public will support. If we talk about pu how public see that thing is useful for sports performance. And that another example, Gatorade, you know, uh, even Levita. Uh, that's how the public supports the research. Okay, All right. And the fifth one is to promote moral and social value.
Mm, this is the reason for ethical norms. Okay, human human rights is being taken care. If you are having participants, athletes as participants to test your training program for, throughout twelve week, twelve months. Sometimes, okay, we need to follow ethical. We need to ensure every ethical is being followed. Rahsia kanama, jaga elo elo, not taking pictures. And they treat them as uh, there's uh, respect and um, taking care of all the the. Kebajikan, okay, and then uh, if even animal welfare uh, research, research, yang so uh, science, science and technology, some sometimes they are using animal as as their subject, okay. It, it, even the animal also need ethical uh, ethical consideration, okay, right. So that moral and social value being promoted, okay. Tak sebarang buat research ni ya, right. If it is uh, wrongfully uh, conducted, the procedure maybe it will harm the human and animal, and even the students or the public. Uh, we talk about experimental research here. If it is surveyed, but, uh, the other way around to to violate that moral and social support, you are revealing the name. Okay, kita macam bunga audio ni yang berpendapat begitu. Wah, no one will want to to contribute to your study kalau kita tidak merahsiakan. Okay, uh, the social value there. Right, so that's all. Thank you.